What we want to do now is we want to list all of the users that we have. So a quick refresh, we've got a connection through to here. We've added a user. If I come into here and so you type in Gene and click on add or return, there's no indication for the end user that anything's been added. So we need to modify it and allow that to happen. If we go into the database and click on browse, you'll see that the information is there. So to make this happen, what we'll do is we'll go to our code, jump into the index page, Underneath our form, let's put in a HR line break, and then here we'll put in some PHP, and we'll just go list users. Now, inside this particular function, which we're about to create, we just need the database connection. So we'll take a copy of that, save that, come into here, and then let's go function here, get rid of that, spell word function correct, curly races. So from here, same as before, we want to use SQL. And what we're doing is we're going to go select star, which means everything from users, which is our table that we just added up here. So users and users match. And now here we basically run the command. So we're going to go dollar sign result is assigned by SQLI underscore query brackets dollar sign db connect and our dollar sign SQL. So that'll run the command. And from here, we check to see if there's any records that it's returned. So this is where we can go MySQL, MySQL I underscore num underscore rows bracket dollar sign result so we check everything if it is greater than zero that means there is information there to be looked at we now want to loop through it and to loop through it we'll use a while loop we can go dollar sign row equals my SQL is a sign sorry my SQL i underscore fetch association record dollar sign result such now that we've got that we put the information into an array so now we can pull information out of the dollar sign row we can echo out from here put in a line break uh, dollar sign row and then let's put in the name and then we can close that as such now from here Let's see, that's the end of our while loop. This is the end of our if, so we can put an else under here. If it doesn't work, we can echo out. Uh, let's see, what will we do? Let's go um, error to connect. And here we'll go dollar sign db connect. And we'll put in that error as such. Now, if everything's working according to plan, we should be able to go back to our web page here, hit refresh, and as you can see, we can now see the users that are there. So once again, we create a simple function here that we show, and then we write it up into here. 